Cape Verde, Nova Scotia, Canada, February 4, 2024. So that used to be my fence is uh, halfway full. Nova Scotia grapples with heavy snow from massive winter storm. Nova Scotians already buried under as much as 80 cm of snow, hunker down and brace for even more on Sunday as a powerful storm hovering over the province was poised to linger well into a third day. K. Breton Regional Municipality has declared a local state of emergency as the region grapples with a winter storm that could bring as much as 150 centimeters of snow by the time it passes. The heavy continuous snowfall prompted the K. Breton Municipality to declare a local state of emergency. Bus service in the Cape Breton Regional Municipality was cancelled for the day Sunday and will not resume until at least Tuesday. The Halifax Regional Municipality ran only limited transit roads as Environment Canada urged residents to avoid non-essential travel. Agency meteorologist Bob Robbie Cout said, the low-pressure system that stalled southeast of the Atlantic coast has dumped 75 centimeters of snow along Nova Scotia's eastern shore and about 80 centimeters in Cape Breton since early Saturday. He said he is aware of some reports of up to 100 centimeters of snow in Cape Breton, which he said is possible though not yet confirmed. An unusual stalling low-pressure system dancing of the coast of Nova Scotia is bringing the highest snowfall totals, seen in two decades for a big swath of Atlantic Canada. A low-pressure system has hit the post button and is stalling just southeast of Sable Islands for 48 hours. An Arctic high over Labrador is supplying the cold air, resulting in a blockbuster snowfall event for those in the eastern Maritimes and central Newfoundland. Good morning, everyone. Janet here, Cape Breton Originals, and OMG. Pre shoveling. Confidence is greatest that Cape so, Breton and parts of Newfoundland will see the most substantial snowfall titles by the time snow finally stops early this week. As a result, more than 4,400 Nova Scotia Power customers are in the dark of Sunday morning. They will likely fluctuate through the duration of the storm. How much snow came? Hours ago. So, doors are so stocked, I had to do this out the window, but there's one truck buried. There have also been numerous roads, schools, and business closures in Atlantic Canada as well. Transit and flight delays and cancellations have occurred too. As a result of the marathon snow, the Nova Scotia government and RCMP are urging people to stay off the roads unless their travel is essential. Cape Breton Regional Municipality has declared a local state of emergency for the next seven days due to the overwhelming amount of snow.
There have also been widespread school closure announcements across Nova Scotia for Monday, as it is unlikely the snow will be cleared in time. A heavy bed of snowfall first set up along Nova Scotia Saturday, creating dangerously low visibility and heavy snowfall rates. Exposed section of coastline were forecast to see winds exceeding 70 km per hour. All right, let's get ready to show you how much snow was plowed in a small area. Probably 20 centimeters overnight of snow. And you'll see here the little dogs. They only went about two or three. Cape Red and NS is forecast to see some of the worst conditions with heavy snow and wind gusts of 50 to 70 km per hour, creating blizzards condition. Winds in Newfoundland are expected to hit 60 to 80 km per hour. Bands of luckily heavy snowfall pulled into central Newfoundland Saturday afternoon, along with gusty northeasterly winds. But the avalanche has been and will be largely spared from significant impacts. Snow was beginning to pile up in Sydney, with over half a meter reported through Sunday morning, with luckily higher amounts documented. An additional 50 plus centimeter of snow is forecast for the area, meaning this is likely going to be the most significant snowfall event in recorded history for Cape Breton. 